So here is a simple diagram of a cell, and we're going to look at the main or the most important organelles. There are lots of different ones that have been discovered, but we'll start with the basic organelles. So starting from the outside of the cell, we have this yellow structure here, which is called the cell membrane. And the cell membrane is like the outer layer that holds everything in. We can picture a cell like a bag full of water. And the membrane is like the plastic bag holding everything together. Holding together the cell contents. Further out from the cell membrane is this thicker layer, and this is a cell wall. And just like any wall, the cell wall is strong and rigid, and it gives the cell a shape. It gives the cells a strength or a solid shape. And then the other main section in cells is all the liquid on the inside. So if the membrane is like the plastic bag holding everything together, all the liquid inside we call the cytoplasm. And the cytoplasm contains all the other organelles plus the liquid. So the liquid and the other organelles. So let's look at a couple of other specific organelles that do different jobs inside the cell. The most important one probably is this big one in the middle here, which is called the nucleus. And the nucleus, it contains all the DNA. And DNA is important for controlling all cells and telling them what instructions they need to do when. So the nucleus is like the control center of the cell. The next organelle we can look at here are these red ones. We can see a few scattered around. They're shaped a bit like a jelly bean and these are called mitochondria. And mitochondria, they break down sugars and give energy to the cell. So that's why we need to eat food as animals, because the food gets digested into sugars and then the mitochondria turn that into energy. So they turn food molecules into energy for the cell to use. The next organelle we can see are these tiny black dots scattered around all through the cell. And these are the smallest organelle that we find in cells. These are called ribosomes. And the main job of ribosomes is to make proteins, which you might not have heard before, but proteins are basically the building blocks of all cells. So every different chemical that makes up a cell is made mostly of protein. Sometimes other chemicals, but proteins are the most important one.
the next one are these other jelly bean shaped organelles, but these green ones here are called chloroplasts. And these are only found in plant cells. And this is why plants are green. And it's where photosynthesis happens. So they use sunlight to make sugars. So they use sunlight to make food, in other words. And that's why plants don't need to eat, because they have chloroplasts in their cells. Lastly, we've got these little yellow circles and this big blue one here. And these are called vesicles. Vesicles, they just are small. Well, they're just basically a package that can contain particular chemicals. So we, cells use them for storage and to keep certain chemicals isolated. So often there's dangerous acids or enzymes that need to be kept separate. So these are the main organelles that are found in cells.